My name's Peter, and we're standing now in an orchard of mixed trees. These are mostly apples, quite a lot of pears and some cherries. Um, and we think they're, well, they're four years old, so they've been planted a couple of years, and they were probably planted about two years old. I want to do a few different things with different trees. And so this one's an apple, and what we're going to do is um, I want to show you a little bit of damage that's been done to it, and then I want to show you how we might chop it and prune it a little bit just to make it um, and have more apples on it, okay? So when we were looking at the other trees with Des, it, there was a branch that he took off right at the end. Do any of you remember that? Yeah. There was one, which, do you remember it was rubbing against, can you see how? It was rubbing against. Exactly, and this one, whoever planted this, they didn't take off a branch that was doing that. So can you see it's, it's actually, and, and that bit there, if you look closely, can you, uh, uh, let's, flipping. yeah, exactly. And so that's a place where now it can get disease in there because it's been, it's been rubbing on it. So what we'll, we'll do is we'll take the whole of that branch off. Do you want to do it? Come, come here and just, just, just chop with those red things there. So keep hard as you can. Well done. <laughs> well caught. Good. And then I'll just tidy that up a little bit. Because we don't want to leave too big an end on that. We want to just get that right out of the way then. So that's got rid of that bit. And then, can you see this is getting really tall? And that's going to be two problems. One is if the apples are right up there, you won't be able to pick them. And also, if we cut them down a little bit, they'll stick out lots of little side branches, and then they'll have branches on. So what I'm going to do is, it's nice and bendy, this, so I can bend it down, yep. and it'll bounce back up again. And then I can show you, we'll cut about a third of the top off, these, all the branches that go through it. So, do you want to cut? So, we want to cut about a third off that bit, and then if you chop it just above that bud there, is what's going to come boinging out again. So we want to cut it just above there. Do you want to do that? So just chop that there. Yeah, just le leave the buddy bit. That's it. Chop. Well done. And then what I'll do is I'll just angle that a little bit like that. So it's actually angled a bit better like that because then it's, it's growing that way. So do you want to do the next one then? So that one's going to be about the same place, about there. Okay. Chop that bit there. That's it. Perfect. Good. Then we can let that one go. So then who's next? Okay, so we want it, we're going to chop about a third off those ones there. Yeah. yeah, let's leave that. Can you see that bud there? So turn it round like that and just leave it, chop it like that. And then there's only one left, I think. Is there one left or are there more? A few more, aren't there? What, what more is there? No, we've done all those ones. No, we've done all those. We pulled them all the others. That's it, perfect. So, and that one's a little bit skinny, so we'll just snop the top off that. And that one's... That one's all going a bit off to one side, so we'll just chop that one off there. Because that's all got a bit long. Oh, and then we'll pick, later in a minute, we'll, yeah, you have. We'll pick all those up because we don't want to leave little bits lying around that might rot. Because otherwise they might rot, you know, they might get disease and then the disease will get back into the tree. So we'll pick all those up and burn them. This tree is growing quite different. You remember how the last one, the apple tree was going boinging up and we wanted to stop it? This one's not boinging up. But it's got another thing, it's boinging down. It's kind of like... What do you think might it might need? Yeah, go for it. Cutting a bit more? Cutting a bit more. It does want cutting a bit more. It's like, it's a bit like, actually my hair's quite short at the moment, but it's a bit like my hair. It's a, it's a real mess. What's going on in here? There's lots too much going on. Can you see, like, there's this branch here. When, if you imagine that with leaves on, it's going to be like a big, cut, so many leaves, and that means it's going to get a bit wet. If there's if anything that's trying to, if that's trying to make a pear there, it's going to be stuck in the middle and it won't ripen. So what we need to do with this is to thin it out quite a lot. So I want to take out things like that one. I'm going to, can you see that's going right up in the middle? Yeah. Oh, I don't want one up the middle. We'll have that one. Yeah, you can, uh, oh, you're going to catch it next time, are you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and that little one there, that's growing right up in the middle. And we don't want that one. No, I've got one. So if you look at it now, can you see it's looking not quite so, so sort of all over the place and quite so hairy? Let's have that one. Um, and let's have that one. <laughs> and <laughs> that one. Okay. And let's have that one. So when you're, pr when you're pruning things, actually, one of the things that's really useful is to sort of stand back a little bit and then you can kind of see what's going on. Because you can go, oh, so is that still looking thick? Is anything... Yeah. Now, I can see at least one branch that's crossing over. Can anyone show me that? Yeah, well spotted. So that one there is crossing over that one. So that's another place where it's going to do that rubbing. 
and then it can get disease in there. So now it doesn't look nearly so thick, does it? Good. So, is this an apple or a pear? How are you apple. working that out? It's, 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 it's not, an orange, not orange. And it isn't Hang on, this pointy. looks a little bit pointier than the pear, a little bit. These little pointy ones are going to be leaves. That one there is going to be a fruit. That one's going to be a flower. Ooh, that's that fat one, one there. It's gone a bit all. It's gone a bit all over the place. It's gone. These three branches are all going up a bit spindly. So what we want to do is to sort of help it to come back down again and get a bit stronger and make stronger these bits, which are going to be fruit bud. They're going to be little spurs, which means little branches that have fruit on and leaves, yeah? So this is one, is one we're, going to, we're going to just cut it down a little bit because it's all going a bit, whoa. And this one here, we don't like, why, why, why don't we like that one? Yeah, because that one's, that one's head, and then another one that's sort of heading across doing a sort of random crossy job. So we don't like that one, so we'll have that right. Okay. And then we're going to shorten these ones because that hopefully, if we shorten them, then that'll make that bit stronger, yeah? Because they're it's all a bit, these ones here are all a bit skinny and not very strong. So we'll have them off. And then we're going to chop the tops off all of these ones. So we'd, again, we'll choose a nice buddy place like that and go katunk. And we'll go right down to there on this one because it's, we're just wanting to make it a better shape. So like little birds. And then... Do you think we want it to go that way, or do we want it to go that way? So that way. That, mm. that way. Yeah, you're right. Because if it goes that way, it's going to start crossing with that one, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So we'll go, we'll go that side. So now that bunch will go boing out that way. But hopefully what we've done is we've really made it stronger, so next year it'll come out all strong all over. We'll see.